Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Yonit Arthur and thank you for joining me for this fear and anxiety exercise for chronic dizziness and chronic pain. Go ahead and close your eyes if that's comfortable or if it's not just soften your gaze and let's slow your breathing down. Breathe in just to center yourself. Focus, if you can, on breathing in to your back, belly, and sides, 360 degrees all around. Remember that slowing your breath and focusing on it is a great way to ground and remind your brain to release relaxation chemicals. Now, try to prolong your exhales by making wind noise in your throat. Take just a few breaths like this. You're here today because you're feeling anxious or fearful. Maybe you're feeling overwhelmed by sensations of dizziness or pain, or maybe you're caught up in worrying that the sensations are never going to stop or that you're never going to get better. Now notice for me, for just a moment, your natural inclination to want to push away these feelings or thoughts. Your natural response is probably going to be to make them stop. What is your automatic response? Do you naturally want to distract yourself or maybe blame yourself for having them? Or maybe get mad at them or yell at them to stop? I want you to see if, just for now, instead of trying to fight the feelings or blame yourself or be angry with them, if you are able to imagine yourself turning toward them instead. This may not feel natural, but see if you can do that. See if when you turn toward the thought or feeling, can you identify what it is? Is it anxiety? Is it fear? Is it sadness? Is it hopelessness? Is it scary thoughts that are playing on a loop? Or maybe something different or a combination of several of those things. It's okay if you're not sure, just see if you can notice what's there. Notice if there is a physical response associated with this thought or feeling. Is there tightness or heaviness or fluttering or buzzing? Is there a feeling that you can locate in a particular part of your body? For now, we're just being detectives, so it doesn't matter if you're sure about where it is, just notice what you feel in your body. See if you can locate where that thought or that feeling seems to be in your body right now. Once you have an idea of where it is, see if you can step back from it for a moment. Ask the part of you that holds this feeling or thought to give you a little bit of space. Say to yourself, there is something in me that is, 
fearful or anxious or having scary thoughts, whatever it is for you. Thinking about it this way will give you a little more space to be there with it. And you can directly ask that part to give you this space as well. Reassure this part of you that you're not going to force it to go away today. For right now, you're just here to get to know it. Now, I want you to see if you can actually focus on it now from this new distance you've just created. Just focus on it, notice it, breathe into it, wherever it is, whatever it feels like. Imagine the air gently flowing into it, clear the air around it. While you do this, observe what happens. While you watch it, see what you notice. It might have a color, a texture, a shape, an image, or not. Just note what you observe, if anything. Just breathe into it and notice what happens. Breathe into it, and if it gets stronger, that's okay. Just follow it. Just ride the wave. If it fades, that's okay too. You're just getting to know it. As you observe it, see if you can soften toward it a bit. Soften toward this part of you that is holding these painful thoughts, feelings. Give it a little bit of gentle attention. See if you can just allow it to be what it is and sit with it in the space you've created for it, like you would with a small child who is upset. Keep this gentle focus on it and notice if anything changes about it. It's okay either way. But now, see if you feel comfortable maybe even reaching out toward it, like, I'm here and getting to know you. Notice if it responds by softening back toward you. If it does not, that's okay. We are allowing it to be what it is, regardless. Now that you've sat here with this feeling or thought and you've gotten to know it a little bit, see if you are able to recognize that in its own way, it's been trying to help you. You may not like its methods. You might feel like it's misguided and that's okay. It might have even caused you a lot of trouble or pain for right now, that's okay too. Because for this present moment, we're not judging it for the past. We're just noticing it as it is. We're just noticing that it's a part of you that is here and has been trying to help protect you in its way. And notice that in the past, it's been punished for its behavior by being pushed away, blamed, or even hated. See if maybe from this new place of space and getting to know it, you can even maybe send it a little bit of understanding that it's a part of you that is trying. Just breathe, sit with this part of you. 
notice how you feel toward this part of you now that you've spent some time with it. If you have been able to soften and send some understanding to it, notice what's changed. If that's been a challenge, that's okay too. You're just spending time with this part of you without resisting it like you have been. And that is a wonderful start to working with it and helping it transform. Take a couple more moments here to sit with this feeling or thought. Follow it wherever it goes. And in a moment, I'm going to ask you to open your eyes if they've been closed. But before you go, just take another three breaths to ground yourself. Feel that physical sensation of the breath coming in and out. Slowly come back to yourself, away from that space you created. And when you're ready, you can open your eyes if they've been closed and stop the exercise for now.